everybody and welcome to my channel every day with Jackie if this is your first time here I hope you'll stay go ahead and pause the video and click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll know each and every time that I upload a video and if you're returning it's good to see you guys as always well the time has finally come for me to talk about the items that I received during the Sephora sale all of my items are still not here, but I did want to go ahead and jump in with the items that I do have. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up, then you'll have to keep watching. Okay, so like I said, all the items that I picked up are not here yet. And I did some shopping at Neiman Marcus, Pat McGrath. What is the name of that store? Burdoff Goodman. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've just been shopping and I've been hauling all over the place. So I have some notes because I do want to try to be as thorough as possible. So enough talking. Let's just go ahead and get into the products that I've picked up that have arrived so far. So first let me say that as soon as my items were dropped off, you know, the FedEx man would ring the front door, I'll go outside and grab my package and head right on out into the garage and unbox my items because I didn't want to bring the box inside. Then um, I started taking some of my products out of the carton, um, but then that ended, but I did wipe down each and every item. Um, so I just didn't want to have those items in the house. So I have disinfected everything. So like I said, some of the things have been taken out of the package and I haven't tried anything, but I did swatch one item and I'll let you know about that when we get to it because I wasn't sure about the color. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing that I do want to talk about, I did not pick up during the Sephora sale, but it did come from Sephora, but Sephora had a great sale And so I just went ahead and picked it up and this is my Sephora Pro palette Now this palette really uh, Retails for $58, but when they had the sale They were selling it for $29. So, you know, I could not pass that up. So I went ahead and picked it up and take the sheet off. This is what it looks like. And I think I did swatch. Looks like I stuck my hand in something. But this is what the palette looks like. And I am super excited to use it. It does come with this little guide telling you how to use everything and then also on the back so I'm really excited to have this and to play with it I've just been sitting looking at me and it does come with this huge huge mirror so um, we do have some um, some blushes, some bronzers, looks like there's some contours, there's some, um, also some highlighters in this palette. So again, I just can't wait to dive into this and I'll do a few swatches because like I said, I, I'm excited to use it. So the first thing, first shade that I swatched was this one right here and that's what's on my finger here. And you know I am the worst with swatches, so bear with me. That's that shade. And it was called Red Carpet, this orangey red shade. And then I'm going to go ahead and swatch Epic, which is this. And this is definitely a contour. Oh, so deep. And then we'll swatch After Party. Looks like another blush.
And this is after party right here. And then I'll swatch LA. And this is the shade right here. And this is LA. So again, I'm super, super excited to play in this face palette. Um, I couldn't pass it up. It was such a great buy. Um, when something normally retails for $58, almost $60, and you can get it for under $30, half price, really. So again, this is my Sephora face palette. And up next, what are we going to talk about next? Oh, I did receive this today, and I had this in my Hot or Not. And I did uh, express that I was interested in getting it. And this is the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. So um, I haven't opened this. I did um, sanitize the outside of the box, though. And this is what it looks like. Probably not. You just probably can't see it because it's so light. But this is a glowy makeup serum. And what I wrote down about this is that it retails for $32. It's a hydrating serum. And it says it keeps your oils in check. It makes your skin look smoother. It's long lasting. Um, it's good for dryness, dullness, and uneven skin texture. So, um, I am super excited to start using this product. Um, yeah, you just put it on under your makeup and it's supposed to provide you with long lasting makeup, making everything smooth and it's good for dullness and uneven texture. So again, this is by Laneige, it's the Glowy Makeup Serum and I'm so happy to have this. My next product that I picked up that I've been hearing a lot of people talk about, but I didn't pick up the one everybody's talking about. I picked up the Super Goop Defense Refresh um, Resetting Mist. Now I know uh, a lot of people have just been picking up the sunscreen itself, but this does have SPF 40 in it. And this retail, I just got the mini, and this retails for $14. And what it says about this is, it's a setting mist you apply over your makeup. And it says the skincare concerns are dark spots, fine lines, wrinkles, and oiliness. So um, I normally go in with a moisturizer that has SPF in it, or, the, or a foundation that has SPF. Right now in my Shop My Stash, I have this one, the um, Revlon Color Stay that has an SPF of 15. So I'll, I usually have some kind of SPF that I have in my everyday makeup basket. So I'm just going to, like, like this says, I'm just gonna spray it over my face and to set everything. And I'll also be protected with the SPF 40 that this has in it. So I'm interested in trying this to see how this performs on my skin. And next up is a product that I had in my basket when I showed you my Sephora cart, but I wasn't sure I was going to get this. But this is the Ren Clean Skin Care. Now I saw someone talking about this on YouTube, but I couldn't remember who it was. Now, what I will tell you about this, let's see. Oh, it smells nice. Not fragrant, but it just has a nice clean smell. Now, this um, retails for $40. Nine dollars. That's why I had it in my cart, but I really didn't think that I was going to actually buy it. But I went ahead and did. Um, it is. It says Ren Clean Skin Care. It's a hydrating sleep cream. It says it's formulated to work while you sleep, and it targets dark spots and re-energizes your skin. Um, the skincare concerns are dark spots, dryness, and dullness. 
So um, I do have some dark spots that I do want to try to work on. Not a lot, but just some. So I'm anxious to put this in my beauty basket and start testing this out. Um, yeah, I expect great things from this because I've heard a lot of people talk about it. So I can't wait to see how this is gonna perform on my skin. Um, it just says Overnight Glow Dark Spot Sleeping Cream. And this again is by Ren Clean Skin Care. And next up, we want to talk about my concealer. I went a little concealer crazy. So I picked up this concealer by Hourglass. I've heard all the people talking about this one. They either are talking about the Pat McGrath concealer or the Hourglass concealer. They said both of them are really good. So, you know, I had to pick it up. Now I did pick this up from Neiman Marcus because they were having a 25% off sale and with Sephora, I was just gonna get 15% off. So I wanted to get the most bang for my buck. So I picked this up, very pretty packaging, really sleek looking. So I picked this up from Neiman Marcus and this is in the shade Maple. So uh, I hope this is a good shade for me. Let's see, I'll go ahead and swatch this. Oh, this looks like this is gonna be a good shade. This is where I swatched it, right here. I hope you guys can see that's a little bit better. And what stood out to me about this, this does retail for $34, but like I said, I got 25% off. Now this says that this is a full coverage, weightless, waterproof concealer with micro spherical powders that blur and brighten up to 16 hours. So I'm glad that it's waterproof. Um, that would help, you know, with the creasing and the fine lines, hopefully. Um, you know, I typically don't wear full coverage, but let's just see how it goes. It says it's weightless and also that it blurs and brightens. So those are some standout points for me. And I guess the powder, the microspherical powders that blur, you know, I guess that's just gonna blur the darkness and underneath the eye. So I can't wait to try it actually. It, um, I don't have very many things from Hourglass, but everything that it claims that it's going to do is right up my alley. And again, I got this in the shade Maple. So I'm, in, I'm anxious to try this. Next, I now here are the two. I have two products coming up that I took out of the packaging um, because I was going to take everything out initially, and then I stopped taking everything out and then just started wiping stuff down. So up next is the Laura Mercier powder, and I had this in my cart, so I did go ahead and pick it up in the mini, like I had mentioned, and. I do have in my shop, my sash right now, the mini of the translucent. Now I got this from my Allure Beauty box. So since I already had the translucent and I do love that, I have put it underneath my eyes today. I wanted to go ahead and pick up the translucent medium deep. And this is still sealed. I haven't taken the little stopper off, but I have tried this uh, powder before. My niece had it and she put me um, some, she put me aside some and sent it home with me so I can try to see how I would like it. And I do remember liking it a lot. I used up all the little sample that she gave me. So again, this is just, I know every, a lot of you are probably already familiar with this, but this is just the Laura Mercier setting powder in the shade medium deep. Next up, I picked up something from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, they were having a sale for 30% off. And I'm trying to think, I think I saw today it said this is the last day or either it was yesterday, it was the last day to get the 30% off. So, you know how I go on these kicks, either I'm on a concealer kick, a powder kick, a blush kick. So, 
I picked up another powder. Now this is the one that I did open up to see because I wasn't sure. This is in the shade Deep Peach. Now this is the Loose Setting Powder by Anastasia of Beverly Hills. So I wasn't sure if this was gonna be a shade that worked for me. I haven't put it on my face or anything. I just peeled the little plastic off and stuck my finger in it to see if this was gonna work. And I think this is going to work out just fine. Since I have gone ahead and opened this, let's see where I can do a little powder swatch. And again, this is in the shade Deep Peach. And so this is a good size amount. And again, like I said, got it for 30%, yeah, 30% off. And says that this is 25 grams or 0 0.9 ounces. So this will be something that I may try underneath my eyes or I just may use it to set the entire face. But I am excited to have this and to try it out. Um, this is another product that came today that was in my Sephora cart. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. And I got this. This is the container that it comes in. And I got this in Y505. And it says it's a matte velvet skin. This is a blurring powder foundation. And again, you know, sometimes I don't go in. This looks kind of light. Sometimes I don't go in with, um, see it's showing up darker here on camera. It may be okay. Sometimes I don't go in with the foundation all the time. Sometimes I just want to put something a little lighter on the skin. And so I thought I would pick up this powder foundation. I'm going to swatch this because... I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I think this will be fine. Yeah, you can't even hardly see it when I swatched it. So this seems to blend very well into the skin. Now I did hear somebody say that when you use this little sponge that comes with it, it just makes it really flawless. So typically, um, I think it's this side that you're going to use. Typically, I wouldn't use this. I would just go in with one of my powder brushes. But because I heard someone mention this, I don't know if it was Yvette Loves Beauty. I think I heard her say this. So I'm going to try using this to see how it works on my skin. But um, it does come with a little mirror here. And you keep the little powder puff. And here's the foundation powder. And again, this is by Makeup Forever, and I have the shade Y505. So I'm excited to give this a try. And let's see. In one of my orders, I got to pick a product, and so I picked up this. This was the most interesting thing. So this is a lipstick by NARS or lip crayon by NARS and I'm not sure what the shade is oh I think this is it Rikujing satin lip pencil or Rikujing r-i-k-u-g-i-e-n satin lip pencil and this is the shade let me see if I can swatch this for you. Oh, this is pretty. Kind of reminds me of what I have on my lips now. I swatched it right here. It's a nice shade. And it's very creamy. So this was just something I picked up with my order. And I got this today. So I have not tried the Natasha Denote. Not Natasha Denona, she's on my brain. I haven't tried any of the Huda Beauty lipsticks, but I heard that they're fantastic. So I did pick this as one of my perks. And it's so interesting the way it came. Just like this. And so 
I'll get to try all of these lipsticks to see how I like them. And I may have done this twice because I ordered something for, for a coworker of mine. She's an insider, but she missed her window and my window was still going on. So I picked up something for her and I think I may have picked up this for her as well. And I know she'll let me have it. So that's all good. Now I did also receive this Jo Malone London uh, Peony and Blush Suede Cologne. Now I am quite sure I did not order this. This is not one of the perks I selected, but Sephora, if they run out of one that you select, they just put anything in your box. So um, this may actually be a good scent. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, oh. Yes, I'm glad I have it. <laughs> this smells very floral, but really nice and refreshing. Oh yes, I'm gonna like this. This is how I stay in trouble getting these perfume samples and then I end up loving it and then have to order the real thing, which usually costs a mint. Now, my last two items, I think this is my last two. Yes, okay, so I did go on, go on to the Pat McGrath website and I did pick up her concealer as well. And by the way it looks in this box, I don't know that I've picked up the correct shade. Um, I hope it is. I did get the, con the concealer in MD24. And all the little black string is in the garage, thankfully. So... Come on out of here so I can see what you look like. Okay. Oh, okay. Whew, I think this is going to be okay. This is what it looked It just looked really dark in the box, but it probably was this little sheet that was over it. Because this is the shade that Sephora matched me to. So I went ahead and picked it up on Pat McGrath Labs. And it says that this is a creamy, lightweight, full coverage, radiant matte um, concealer. It says that it brightens under the eyes and hides the appearance of blemishes. So I like that it says it's a radiant matte. So maybe it won't have my under eyes looking so dry. So let's see. I'm gonna put this right next to the one by Hourglass. It is very creamy. So this is what it looks like right here. This is the Hourglass and this is the Pat McGrath right here. So this looks like this is going to be a good shade for me. So I'm excited to try this. Um, and this is, let's see. This is a, to me it's a good size, but either the Hourglass is just so much more. But um, this looks like it's a good size. So I can't wait to try this by Pat McGrath. And, um, then my last item up is, I just got concealer on it. I purchased uh, something by, from Bergdorf Goodman. And I went ahead and picked up the Pat McGrath um, foundation. And I didn't pick it up on her website because I wasn't planning on picking it up. But... Um, I got a better deal on Bergdorf Goodman because I got 25% off of this. And I think on the concealer from Pat McGrath Labs, I got 20% off. So this is the packaging. I know most of you are already familiar with uh, Pat McGrath's packaging. It's very pretty. And this is what the foundation looks like. It's very heavy, very weighty. It's a glass bottle, which I don't do well with those. I have broken uh, the Fenty um, was it? primer in the glass bottle. And I've also broken a Maybelline, no, it wasn't Maybelline. It was another glass bottle. I think it was a Revlon. Um, I broke in their foundation because it fell on the floor. So 
Let's hope I have better luck with this, honey, because this costs a mint. But like I said, I got 25% off of this. I did pick up the shade. What shade is this? Oh, this is in the shade. It says Skin Fetish Medium Deep 24. Is this the same thing as the concealer? Oh, yes. So this is the same shade as the concealer. So... Maybe I should have gone up a bit in the concealer. Because it says it's the same shade. So that getting the shade, the concealer and the foundation in the same shade is not going to be good. And so anyway, this is what it looks like. I can just probably put a little brightening powder on and, you know, kind of let it send off. But I don't do highlighting concealers anyway, so it may work out. I don't highlight underneath my under eyes. I generally just try to um, make these little pockets not visible, so it may work out. I'm going to swatch this. It should look just like the... That's a lot. I can't be wasting this. Um, yeah, that's a lot. So this is what the color looks like. And I got a lot. It's very lightweight. And here is the concealer. So they do look identical. I'm gonna rub it in. So this is what it looks like blended into the skin. Seems to be a good shade match. And what it says about the foundation is it just says it's buildable, sheer to medium coverage, and it's long wearing. So I know a lot of people said that, um, I was hearing that, you know, it wasn't uh, full coverage and you had to put a lot on to kind of build it up. Well, typically, I mean, that'll be fine for me because I don't go in with really full coverage uh, foundations. I do have some that are full coverage, but generally that's not my spiel. So because it's not full, full coverage, it's sheer and buildable, that's perfect for me. So I did, like I said, I did pick this up from Bergdorf Goodman and you know, like if this wasn't a good shade, it says that they have free returns and free shipping. So I could send it back, but I am not. I'm keeping it. And let me see what else I picked up. Um, here are some more of my samples. I have the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. So they do have this in a mini and I can't wait to dive into this to see if I like it because I may pick up the mini because I've been wanting to try this for a long time. It's just really expensive. And I did pick up also, which I went to the Sephora and JCPenney's where I live, but they didn't have this. This is the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation and I've heard a lot of good things about this. So I picked up the sample card in hopes of being able to try this out and see how I like it. I'll probably have to go in and mix these two shades or mix mix it to find my perfect match. But I do want to try this and do a wear test for you guys to see how this performs. But um, I've heard a lot of good things about it that people really like it. So I picked that up. And um, I also got for a sample the original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer by Smashbox. Never tried this before. I don't think I've tried anything from Smashbox. So I'm glad to have this to test out. And then I picked up or picked out the Urban Decay Stay Naked. And this is their foundation. No, this is their concealer. So this is a concealer by um, Urban Decay. And again, it's a sample card. So I'll be able to try this out. I'll probably have to mix and match some shades to make it work. But um, I'm excited to try this out because I've heard great things about this as well. 
And I just seen that I have one more product that I haven't talked about yet. So let me jump into this. And this is by the brand Clinique. And it's the Clinique ID. And I hear Bridget on Keeping It Simple with Bridget. She talks about this all the time. So um, I've always wanted to pick it, pick it up. But every time I would go in, it would always be sold out. So I was, it was sold out, I think once on Sephora during my time to shop, but it came back in. So I went ahead and put it in my cart right then. Now this is supposed to be, it says it's a custom blend hydration system. So you get the hydrating jelly base plus the active cartridge concentrate. And this is supposed to be for uneven skin texture. So that's the common theme that I am trying to address to address is the skin texture on my face. So that's why I have quite a few items that are supposed to address this concern for me. So let's see, how do you get this out? Okay, so you just slide it out. Okay, so this is the base, it says. So this must be the cartridge. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's clear. And then, and this cartridge comes in different care concerns. The purple one down here addresses lines and wrinkles. The peach one addresses fatigue on the skin. The one, this they have a clear one. It says uneven skin tone. And the blue one, it says uneven skin texture. So this is what the cartridge looks like. And from what I'm understanding, I'm just gonna take this lid off and slip this in and then you'll be able to so this comes out and just sits right inside and it does come with a pump and then you'll be able to pump it out and put it on the skin to address your skincare needs and concerns. And did I say anything about this? No, but information on this box. So I'm excited to have this finally. I've been wanting it for a long time. So I think you guys, that's all that I have right now. I have two more orders coming from Sephora. And like I said, one of them is um, something that I ordered for my friend. So I have one more box coming personally for me. I have one more package coming from Too Faced. And I have another package coming from Oma Beauty. And then I think, oh, and then I ordered one eyeshadow palette yesterday because it's my birthday month. So I need to treat myself. So I ordered an eyeshadow palette yesterday. So I can't wait for you to see that. And Ulta has two palettes that I've been trying to get, but they're sold out. But I'm not really focusing on eyeshadow palettes, but I do want at least one of the ones from Ulta and the one that I ordered from Beauty Bay. So... I can't wait for those to come in, but that completes the items that I have picked up from various places. Um, Sephora, Pat McGrath, Bergdorf Goodman, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Neiman Marcus. I've been shopping. I've been hauling all over the place. So I thank you so much for watching this video. And please let me know if you have tried any of the products that I have hauled. Let me know down below if you tried any of these things or, or any of these products. And if you did, let me know how they perform for you. Or if I've shown you anything in this video that you're interested in um, knowing how they perform, let me know that as well. I probably will do a, um, a video testing out new products. And so I'll have a lot of these um, items that I've just shown you in the video, just so you can see how they wear on the skin. So um, I'm excited to do that video. But 
just so I don't keep you forever, that does complete today's video. Um, my makeup look will be listed in the description box. It's from my shop, my stash. And again, that completes this video. So thank you so much for tuning in and uh, hanging out with me for a little bit. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell so you'll know each and every time that I upload a video and share the channel because you know I don't mind. And I also want to welcome all the new subscribers that have been coming over. Thank you so much for joining the uh, family. We're happy to have you. And please just interact in the comments. We're always down below interacting in the comments. So please feel at home. And again, that's all that I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching. And remember, you guys are always welcomed and wanted here on my channel. And with that said, I will see you in the next video, part two. Bye, everybody.